Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back on the Focus ST video, and this time around, I'm gonna do that little famous clutch spring mod thing that everybody does. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people do. Uh, I'm gonna put this spring in here. This is a Hillman um, for, number 47 spring. I got it. I got it from uh, Lowe's, off of Lowe's.com. It is a lot of money to ship, so oh lord, if you can find it in store, then do it, please. I'm also gonna use this punch to get the mount out. I call it the mount. I guess this is what the spring is attached to. It's like attached to this little mount thing. I'm gonna use this side of it to get it out, and I'm gonna use the actual side of the punch to try to disassemble it and to get the spring out so I can stick this spring in there. All right, so I have to pause for just a second. I did not use that to actually open up the assembly to get the spring out. I went ahead and used this socket extension bar and a hammer. I hammered it, opened it up, and that's how I got the spring out of the assembly. You'll see that, you know, in a couple seconds or a couple minutes actually. And I will have an extra spring, so if anybody's interested, you know, you can DM me on YouTube or DM me on Instagram and let me know what's up. But these are the dimensions you need for your spring. Well, you can get any kind of spring, but since the purpose of the spring is to get the pedal to come all the way back up to the top. This, These dimensions here will actually work correctly. The number 47 Hillman spring. It's very easy to do to get this from up under here. And I'm going to go ahead and mount and put this camera down and try to get a nice angle and show you how, to, how it's done. It's very easy to do. Oh yeah, my car is dirty, so please just, I don't need any comments about that. Alright, so as you can see this here, this is... The assembly where the clutch spring is on that's the spring right there um, the easiest way to do it is to push the clutch pedal all the way down and to get it out that way uh, I'm gonna show you in a second but if you can see on the sides here right there you have to get this part can I get this up there you have to get this up and out through that hole right there it's a bigger hole and it'll come out now on the right side let's get this under here now this camera's getting some great angles. On the right side here, it's actually open, and that's really easy to get out. So when you get it up, when you push it up, you're going to have to move it a little to the right or twist it a little right, and then it'll come out. And at the top, it's just right up in here. That's just connected. Once you get it all out, you just pop, you just pull that, and then it'll come straight out. There you go. Just take it, pop it out, top, and there it is. And it's super greasy. Ford put a whole lot of grease on this. So when you do put your new spring in there, I highly advise you to put more grease on there because, you know, it's, it's probably greasy for a reason. But yes, there it is. Now what we're gonna do is put this on a vise and we're going to slowly push inside of this hole here tap 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 okay so here's what really happened now on the inside of this from this angle you can't really see it but there is a line it looks like a line that you would use a flathead screwdriver for so what i did was i took a flathead screwdriver and i turned it until i got that line to be equal to those tabs on the left and the right and then what i did was i took that socket extension bar stuck it in there on that vise took a hammer to it and just gave it a couple real good hits don't hit it too too hard right but just a couple real good hits and it popped right on out. <sighs> Whew, there we go. So now we got everything back in there. I'm gonna give it one last twist so that everything is straight. Push this down here. Over the top, you're gonna take this part and connect it. Actually, you, can, you don't have to push it all the way down to connect it. Just connect it right now. And then it hang like that. Push the pedal down. You can use your finger or the punch or whatever. Just like so. And there you go. The pedal see the pedal comes all the way back up to the top now. No sag. I will check in the morning and see, but there's no sag. And uh should get rid of that crazy clutch feel that you get in this car if you think it's crazy. I'm gonna go take it around the block and wear my head cam and we'll see what's up. All right, so I have been rolling around on this for the past, I don't wanna say about 20 minutes and let me tell you that this feels so good. I absolutely love it. Downshifts feel great. My freaking upshifts, they feel great. Um, taking off is, is what really gets the, the, 
the benefit from this is really taking off. My takeoffs are my takeoffs. <laughs> I'm taking off much smoother now. Uh, I used to really hate the little uh, uh, stratified takeoff assist thingy that they have on their tune. It used to really mess me up, but even doing this clutch pedal mod, uh, it, everything just everything's just so much smoother. That's smoother. So I, I I it's I just I love it. I love everything about it. Now the this clutch does have I guess a natural I guess strong kickback if you want to say it depends on where you're coming from what car you're driving uh, so you do still kind of get a little bit of that kickback it's not as linear as it could be but it's much better it feels much better especially with the spring and I did try it without the spring I didn't drive with it though and that was the most linear but with the spring in you know it's not as linear with no spring at all, but you don't want to do no spring at all. I never drove around with no spring at all because my clutch would not return all the way to the top. I mean, everything just feels, it just feels so good, man. So if you want this spring, you can hit me up on DM me on Instagram. You can DM me in the comment. You can DM me on YouTube. You can be up in the comment section below uh, if you would like this spring. Uh, if you live further away, then I would kind of want to just charge you for shipping about it i'm not gonna make a charge i'm not gonna charge you for the spring just pay for the shipping and everything will be good shipping should be fairly cheap as well so yeah if you want the spring hit me up instead of buying it off of lowe's their website because trust me that shipping is gonna kill you that shipping and that tax is gonna kill you on lowe's website i will see you in the next video go on. it's been a long time long grind time to shine gotta get rich but the next fucking bitches